Hey there, friend, and welcome back. I had a video recorded for today, but uh, my microphone decided to stop working halfway through, and it is currently 12, 11 a.m., and I'm kind of exhausted. So I'm gonna throw this together rather quickly, if you don't mind. Um, I have had quite a bit of an up and down type of day the past couple of days. I was driving home from my chiropractor and was really thinking about some of the stuff that me and him had gone over. He was more than just a snap your neck into place kind of guy. He does a lot of like energy work as well. And I was talking to him about like some of the depression things and some of the ADHD things that have kind of come into my awareness. And he muscle tested me and my, my dopamine and my serotonin levels and a couple of other things. And he was like, besides your adrenals being a little eh, everything else seems fine. So on the way home, I was thinking about this naturally as this era does. And I was like, wow, all right, so all of this is psychological then. This is stuff that I'm able to control. And so I sat and I thought about all the different things that come up. And the root fear that I have with everything is safety and, you know, not being heard and the ramifications of me sticking up for myself. And that was kind of a big thing for me. I'm one of those types of people that I will not stand up for myself for the sake of not getting hurt by somebody. And it's really funny because Kyle Cease was kind of talking about this in one of his videos quite some time back about friends who are nice versus friends who are aware. I am one of the nice friends who like if something were to happen and you were dating somebody that you know wasn't the best for you I wouldn't be able to put up a fight quote unquote and say hey you need to st not date this person you know they're not good for you. Um, I would be, you know, the nice person that would just be like, oh, maybe they're just having a bad day. The aware friend is the friend that's like there telling you like it is because they have your best interest in mind. Don't care what your reaction is. They just care about you. That's the type of friend that I want to be. But I have that fear component of please don't leave me. I don't want you to leave because if I stand up, that's not, if I stand up for myself, it's not safe. And you might leave me and you might abandon me or you might talk about me, something like that. And it's really funny because I had this happen to me over the weekend. I went to a Super Bowl party and we were playing Uno. And my black and white brain, who hasn't played Uno in a very long time, was like, I have 50 questions about this game. And I asked these questions and thankfully my friends know me and were kind enough about it. But I was kind of thinking, you know, if I was with a new group of friends and I asked all these questions, I wouldn't be comfortable asking them all of these questions. It'd be very hard for me to be like, hey, what about this? Is there stacking? Is there no stacking? Blah, 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 blah. Um, and it also made me really appreciate who I've grown into being because I now understand how this Earth Rover works, how the brain component functions sometimes. And sometimes I just need to ask questions. I remember having really bad anxiety going places and that tends to be like social anxiety because I need to ask questions in order to feel safe. Sometimes I'm working on just letting things go. However, that is how I did operate at one point and having that awareness is just amazing. As my day kind of progressed on, I was working on the Positive Head podcast for their episode for tomorrow and uh, they, Brandon had a really awesome speaker on and she was talking about, you know, we have a tendency of writing things that we want and when we journal we talk about like the things that happened in our day and what if we took the time to write out a list of things that went right and I was like, oh, I like that one. I journal every single day. Let me try doing that. And I thought I was going to have like three or four things. I had like three pages worth of things that went right. And I was like, wow, you know, for someone that was having a really crappy day, things are actually kind of looking pretty good. I took Charlie hiking, which is a miracle in itself because this dog was not walking a couple of months ago. Like the fact that me and him went hiking <clears throat> for a couple of hours is really incredible. And yet my mind was racing. My thoughts were going absolutely haywire. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't stop it. I just couldn't stop it. I just went with it. I also intuitively knew that this was some kind of old pattern dying because as they say, or as we've heard that when animals die, <laughs> they tend to be quite loud or when things die, like a car, for instance, when you hear it like squealing and screaming, it tends to be quite loud. So my thoughts are really loud, which means that something inside me was 
dying. It was just really hard because it was just really, really freaking loud. That's all I could think about. So being able to write out a list of things that went right, I was really excited to have some of those. So friend, if you had things that went right for you today and you're kind of having like an eh day, please write them out. It'd be really awesome to see, you know, maybe you can shift your perspective on a few things. I have one last note that I want to mention here. I went to go see my Reiki practitioner tonight and she was really awesome and she gifted me this cute little um, quartz heart, which is kind of fitting because it is Valentine's Day. Uh, technically not anymore. It's the 15th. Oh, well, whoops. <laughs> Um, but what she had told me to do, because she knows that I'm like diving deep into this work, like hardcore full send, um, she told me to sit with every age that I've been, so from one all the way up to 29, because um, I'm 30, believe it or not, and to give them this heart, like, like give it to them as a form of like, unconditional love or love that they needed growing up that they you know might not have gotten from myself and I actually did it during my session and this session felt different than any of my other sessions and it was really awesome because there were parts of me like second to third grade um those guys were kind of stuck uh, my early 20s late teens they needed some extra love and it was really cool, like, working with every one of them and giving each one of them a hug and telling them that I loved them. And while I had no big, like, emotional releases, I definitely had some releases happen throughout my body mentally. And I'm very curious to know what's going to happen now after doing this exercise or this meditation, I guess you could say, especially because it was a very safe space. Literally, I had, like, the source energy, like, flowing through me the entire time. Um, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. I'm just really excited to, you know, really transcend all of these old energies. It's been really hard for me to feel creative lately um, and to kind of get out of my own way. Though I had a really awesome day today. I got to hang out a little bit at the barn. Um, I worked Duke today and I also got to see Abigail and she greeted me with kisses because she is the greatest little pony ever and I love her so much. But it's been really hard for me to find like content. And I was thinking when I was picking up horse poop today of shifting the trajectory of trajectory of this channel slightly for the time being to kind of fit what's going on with me. Like the thing with this work, it is not all, you know, matcha lattes and sunshine and rainbows all, all the time, only some of the time. Um, and the matcha lattes sometimes aren't the best, but anyway... Um, but really speaking about what what happens with me as we're going through this, like there's parts of me that believes that I'm going through a dark night of the soul, like things just I'm not motivated or lit up by very much anymore. I'm not excited by very much anymore. And that's totally okay. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm supposed to be. I've had a lot of energy move through me like the past couple of years and now the universe is like, all right, you need to hit the pause button for a little bit and just chill, which, you know, I'm cool with that. But the thing is, like, I want to keep showing up for you guys and keep creating content. So I think the low power mode for me where I can keep showing up is to create like, you know, little updated daily vlogs of stuff that has been happening through me and some of the findings and stuff. Instead of being like, here's how to do X, Y, and Z to get all these different things, just kind of going through my days and like these aha profound things that have come through like I said at the beginning of the video with um going to the base of my thought pattern for people pleasing and that is safety because I don't want to be abandoned or hit or hurt or something like that because in the past as I've mentioned if I stand up for myself I would get smacked in the face a gun pulled on me yelled at abused blah 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 so working through that trauma and being like hey we're actually okay you can stand up for yourself and uh if this person is an asshole and not responding you know the way that you want them to you can leave you have the power to go that way so, and I also don't think I'll be in that situation in time soon. I kind of raised my vibration up a little bit more. Um, but yeah, friend, this is, you know, I'm here for you. I'm here to, you know, guide you on this journey, be here along your journey and, you know, help you to, to kind of traverse this wherever you are and show you that even on your worst days, things are manageable and you can totally keep going. And it might feel like your worst day, 
but it might actually be one of your best days and it might be a huge day that something amazing comes through and there's a major breakthrough and you might not see it right now hindsight's 2020 but when you look back at it you're, you're like oh my gosh wow yeah okay now i understand why that needed to happen so friend keep going you totally got this thank you so much for watching this little video of mine if you would not mind supporting this channel and hitting that subscribe button i would greatly 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 appreciate it and please feel free to leave a comment i invite you to leave a comment about you know a couple of things that went right for you today i would love to hear about it thank you so much for watching remember love yourself no matter what and just promise me you'll keep singing okay friend